Alrighty, let's see here. Da 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 Nah. Maybe we'll do maybe a quick four hour nap. Now, let's see what we got going on here. Alright, open wardrobe. Nope, continue. Okay, let's see. Inventory. Pants. Boots. Ooh, these actually do kind of look nice, though. I ain't gonna lie. I kinda like how they look. Alright. And then... Bulletproof vest. Oh. And... Shirt. Definitely don't care what order that's in. Oh yeah, would you look at that. Or is it this look? Nah, I like the other tank top better. It looks better on me. Boom. And then... Yeah, one more thing. Our gold aviators. Boom. And then, you know. Kind of turn our, kind of switch around our weapon stash a little bit. Confirm, I'm putting you away, and you, uh, let's see, da, 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 da. Okay. Johnny's Malarian is going to go into the display. And then we're going to switch around our weaponry a little bit. Okay, we got our Skippy and our precision rifle. Boom. Gonna let her sleep. Alright, where's my right field at? There you are. Now. Journal. Map. Gig. Now. So. We got. See, we only got two more Padre gigs. Four more Mr. Hands gigs. And three more Dakota gigs. Well, no. Five more Dakota gigs. We completed all Regina, all Wakako, all Dino, and all El Captain. So, I think since we are in the area, sorry, my bad. Didn't mean to back into you like that.
Alrighty. This gig shouldn't be too bad, so we're gonna do this, go in, take care of the gig, and leave. Another of God's wayward daughters is long due for judgment. I need someone who can hasten her journey to stand before the Lord. Details attached. All right, let's see. All right. What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Hang on. Oh, oh frick. Ow. Getting too old for this. Yeah, let's go. Alrighty. Oops, did I just do that? Why not? Curious how you're gonna be able to warm your way out of this one. You gonna tell me you didn't see that girl? So down! What do you mean? What girl? The one whose blood was all over your limo. Oh, that! Whew. I thought one of my competitors sent you. Look, this is all some gonk misunderstanding. I'm insured for accidents. Compensation's already been paid out. Case closed. And as for this job of yours, I'm sure we can come to some kind of professional understanding. 30 seconds changed my mind. One. So you to take me out, right? Wait. Just wait a sec. Let's talk. I don't know how much they promised. Shut up. You're getting annoying. I don't make deals. I'm. Let's just leave. Probably should have. I mean, I don't want to let Padre down. I mean, Padre is a real one. I mean, Maybe, maybe not, you know, we've been through with us, he's got given us jobs, he's even helped us make money, you know. And he's been around since the very beginning, so, I just gotta figure out where to go. You Tucker's building. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him. And he went down to Ashkelon and slew thirty men. Plus, Tucker Alpak. Well played, me. Bloody but efficient. Closing the contract. You know what really, like, helps my soul a lot is the fact that we never let Padre down. I mean, it's Padre. I can never let him down. Now we just got one more gig for him. Which we don't quite have yet, so we'll go do a quick Mr. Hands gig. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Let's go. We're gonna do a quick Mr. Hands gig while we're waiting. Actually, as a matter of fact, there is a Mr. Hands gig in the stadium, so... We're gonna go to the stadium one first. Actually, no, the close by. Oh, wait, hold on. Eh. What? Oh, yes. 
See, this is exactly what I was waiting for. The last Padre gig. Boom. And as a matter of fact, since it really does kind of need to be, you know, caught up a little bit, is we got to do some Dakota gigs. I'm thinking about maybe doing some Dakota gigs and, uh, yeah, we'll just hang out in the Badlands for a bit. Alright, last Padre gig, here we go. Not too far from one of our home bases. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, we're at the Mag Building 01. I need you to grab some goods. Rare ones, scandium rods. Fell into the hands of a junkie who's got no clue what they're worth. I couldn't bear to see them go to waste. Read the attachment and get to work. I don't read attachments, I just get to work. All right, let's go. We got a whole attachment to read. Okay, here we go. Go down to El Gallo's workshop. Under the mega build. Wait, is it behind the store? I think it's behind. Oh man, last Padre gig. Pull out Skippy here. Fuck you on, huh? And so when I ask you a fucking question. Yeah, keep screaming, buddy. You afraid of the dark, huh? That's no, I'm not afraid of dark, but you are. I'll take the tier five components. Oh yeah. Okay. He tried to shut the lights off on me and I still and I still took him out. Simple office pants. I don't need office pants. I'm happy with my leather pants. on its way we done made ourselves a good 19,000 eddies and what can I say we're always good at making Padre proud and we got something in our stash so as a matter of fact since we're in the area We're gonna check our stash real quick. See if it's. Let's see. Check it in our stash. Check it in our stash. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. And we're gonna put it back because I don't really. All right, map. What? Didn't that complete all Padre gigs, bro? Oh, wait. This is probably another rogue gig, bro.
Dang! What in the world did I just become a witness to? Alright. We're gonna make a quick eddy. Balance keeps Night City alive. Without it, we'd all beat each other's throats. Corpse, gangs, mercs, everyone. And where do fixers fit in? If one side starts to get too much power, a fixer can help tip the scales toward the other discreetly. Think about it. Balance keeps biz from running dry. Anyway, why the lecture, right? Because it's time for a little intervention. Check the attachment. Alright, let's see. Gun for hire. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah. See, don't never act this trash is older than me. Gong's actually come here to buy this shit. Do 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 Hey, I just opened the gate. Y'all shooting at me for that? I should speak to your manager. Actually, no, as a matter of fact, I'm here to probably shoot your manager. Alright. Where is this basement at? Find a way to the basement. Find Rebecca Price. Thank you, and have a nice day. So, I think we're good on gigs for now. Let's go maybe enjoy ourselves. Let's see. We did all Padre gigs. Now we can go take care of a quick Mr. Hands gig while we're at it. As a matter of fact, maybe park this car and use the secret agent car because we are going into Dogtown after all. Our outlaw. Boom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. There we go. Boom. Oops, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Alrighty. Let's see. Almost a dog town. I think since we're doing, since we're close to the area, do maybe a couple of Mr. Hands gig. Maybe. Ah, it's just an average day, nice city. Joss. Oh, Joss. Would you look at that? Look at that. 
Randy's a lot better. That's good to see. Always good to see a happy family reunited. Oh, look at that. This is where the gig does get more interesting. Chill, play a little bit of a. Uh, you there? How about a uh, quick game? Michael Maldonado, I'm V. Han said you needed a, uh, well, hand or something. Oh, it's you. We're here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless are we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an example. That's where you come in. I just noticed the CD Projekt Easter egg on the frickin' uh, arcade game. Anyways! First things first, this DA, Zembinski. What's her deal? She's as crooked as they come, like everyone else in Night City. Zembinski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is, he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric behind bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. <clears throat> Zimbinski forced you to testify. How exactly? At first she seemed nice. We were sitting having a normal conversation. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it was bullshit every last word two days later came back with some badge beat the shit out of me threatened worse for eric then they put me in front of a camera and i i told them what they wanted to hear i was fucking scared just go talk to her you know the way you people do eric's a good kid he'd be eaten alive in prison not if i've got anything to say about it Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. Ah, that's a relief. 
New hands would endorse me some bush leaguer. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for her... heart to heart. Alright, go to the Heavy Hearts. Alright. Now... Us cracks is listening. <laughs> it's playing in the background. Love it. I'll try not to shoot first, promise. The Heavy Hearts Club. Look both ways before I cross the street. Don't feel like getting run over today. Well, front lobby's kind of busy with, uh, ask around for Georgina Zabinski. Alright, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this in the journal real quick. You here by yourself? Where's Walt? Looking for a customer of yours. D.A. Georgina Zabinski. Know her? Can't say I do. But if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack, though. And him you'll find in the can. As in, like, the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz. Where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let's go find this Jack guy. She says he's in the bathroom, so let's see. Restroom. Listen, Jack. That biotechnica suit's supposed to come tomorrow. And now, you know. In the ladies' restroom. Hey, what's good? Looking for something? Jack, right? Heard you're cozy with them gilded folk upstairs. Need a word with a certain dame. Oh, have you now? Well then. Ask away. Georgina Zembinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked, though. You do that. Oh, slow down. Times it is an older jazz. Do you what I'm saying? Know a few suppliers in NC. Not to mention Chum's working doors for the city's primus clubs. Want to expand your enterprise? Or are you content slinging dope in this dump for the rest of your life? Huh. Offer is tempting. Fine. Keep your ads. I'll consider it an investment in my future. Hey, baby. I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah. Right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's smoothing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Sempinski. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There are any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. 
All right, Johnny. You done? Cause I got I got a job to do. It's either gonna end very good or very bad. Let's see. Enter VIP room four without getting into a shootout. Let go of me. What gives you the right? You're done here. Finished. I'll make damn sure of it. What happened? The hell does it look like? Shitbags threw me out of VIP. Shithead bouncers don't know who they're dealing with. They're gonna throw me out? Me? Did my fair share of VIP treatment. Bouncers get it wrong sometimes. Just go there, tell them who you are. Bound to get an apology, at least. You some kind of shrink now? Work for me is all I'm saying. Bullshit! So why do you waltz in behind the bar and have them carry your VIP ass upstairs? Cause I'm done dealing with those Neanderthals. Now somebody get me a fucking drink! Somebody's drunk. Open. Authorization not found. Uh, let's see... We're gonna find a way to enter this VIP room, right? Hmm. Ah, uh, the door glitched. Ah, uh, man, I can't lie anymore. You know what? Screw this. Mr. Hands is not going to be happy about this, but screw it. I'll take that. Alright. Now let's see. Well, since we screwed up, gotta find a way upstairs. Cut what off now? Hang on, let me reload. Whoa, would you look at that? I done screwed up. I'll take the money. And the free drinks. Cause why not? Screwed up. Uh, let's see. All right. Find Georgina Sabinski. Sorry. 
Did it start shooting at me too? Oh, come on, man. Sorry. They shot at me first. Restroom. Well, this is definitely going on the news. Need to talk to you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. He wants me to. You cowardly two faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? Your goon here forced Mike Maldonado to testify. I think he means you, Hank. Did you do any shock therapy on Mr. Maldonado recently? Yeah, like I don't got better things to do. Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. He just needed someone to help him get there. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. It's Mike's word against yours. Unlike mine, his is worthless. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During your conversation, he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. Mike hired me to do a job. Intend to see it through. Besides, I think you're full of shit. Full of shit? Me? I just showed you proof. Show me one piece that fits your narrative. Not nearly enough. The testimony, now. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Let's try this in a language you'll understand. Hank? I want you to stop and think, Hank. About how many years left till you retire. About how I could speed that up. Dealt with far worse than the likes of you. Compared to them, getting rid of you be like swatting the fly. Um, <clears throat> hey, Georgina. Really don't feel like dying today. Not over some piss-ass testimony. Uh, really, Hank? You and I need to have a talk later. There. Deleted and gone. Preem, thanks. And thank you, Hank. Now I'm out of here. Once I find the... This ain't gonna be over, so...
Where's that last guy at? And he went night night. So let's leave this club. About to go blind here in about a couple seconds. Told you. Let's see. Got her up and Finally gonna get a good night's sleep. It's done. Testimony's gone for good. <laughs> That's a weight off my shoulders. Go on. Pay me with the eddies you got for selling your son down the river. Hi. Oh shit. Count yourself lucky you've only got me to deal with, Mikey. Just just go. <sighs> well, we're going to deal with Mr. Hands here in a minute. I guess that's that. Alrighty, Tomb. So, we're gonna end off right here because that is all the time we have for today. So, before you end off, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that notification for more Cyberpunk content. Anyways, that is it for this time, and I'll see you guys next time.